Hello, Chef Marcus Giuliano here, and I'm your chef on a mission. Today's mission is mayonnaise, one of the most common ingredients in kitchens. Uh, very easy to make, very simple to make. Basically, it's egg yolks with a oil base. However, most restaurants, 99% uh, probably, buy mayonnaise uh, of some sort to use um, to use in a lot of things, actually. Uh, I've worked at some really nice places, the Broadmoor and the Greenbrier, two five-star hotel properties. And of course, we just use a ton of mayonnaise in those hotel settings. Uh, I've never really worked at a place, we, I've worked at a place where we've made our own mayonnaise, but it's but you also have jarred or, bar, or packaged mayonnaise there as well. Um, the stuff you'd make was reserved for a special sauce for an entree or a special dish and appetizer that was on your menu. But I've seen a lot of chefs put mayonnaise in mashed potatoes. They love it in mashed potatoes. Um, and of course, you know, egg salad, potato salad, macaroni salad, all these kinds of things. Mayonnaise will make its way into, into crab cakes. It's another common thing. Chefs love to put mayonnaise in crab cakes. It makes them nice and moist and it stabilizes them. Mayonnaise just has, you know, some kind of, the mayonnaise you buy has some kind of just magical property in it that just makes it, you know, this dense... Um, this dense, stabilized, um, creamish glop, right? Uh, we all know what mayonnaise looks like. So let's look and see what's actually in mayonnaise on a commercial level. Let's pull up some labels here. All right, uh, the first label here is one from Oasis. Oasis is a very inexpensive brand of mayonnaise that, um, that uh, does a lot of private labeling for places like Cisco, US Foods, all these companies will might get private labels from Oasis and they do sell their and they do sell their products under their own name. So here's Oasis, canola or soybean oil. Of course, canola and soybean oil is all genetically modified basically. Uh, egg yolks, distilled vinegar, water, high fructose corn syrup, uh, salt, mustard bran, Sodium benzate, which is a preservative, which is in a lot of uh, sodas, by the way, when you buy soda, sodium benzates in soda. Uh, and uh, EDTA, calcium disodium EDTA to protect. Um, so let's go to the next one. Let's do Hellman's. Hellman's, of course, is one of the most popular brands out there. Um, soybean oil. Of course, we can probably assume that's genetically modified as well. Uh, whole eggs and egg yolks, vinegar salt, sugar, they're using sugar instead of uh, high fructose corn syrup. And here's that calcium disodium EDTA again uh, to protect quality. Uh, let's see, Hellman's mayonnaise runs about $42 a, uh, a case. Uh, that's a bargain. Um, this is, oh, the, by the way, this is all coming from Restaurant Depot. Uh, that's where I got these pictures from. Uh, Ken's mayonnaise, another sort of off-brand uh, Ken's mayonnaise, $29 a case. I would love to pay $29 a case for mayonnaise. I'd love to pay $69 a case for mayonnaise. We pay almost $100 uh, for Follow Your Heart mayonnaise, veganaise it's called. Almost $100 a case for 4-1 gallons. Um, you know, it, it's just, it's amazing. Good food costs money. Uh, good food is not cheap. And this is why restaurants are faced with just using, there's not many restaurants that use Follow Your Heart at all. Just Mayo is, I don't know how much Just Mayo is, probably 70 bucks. Just Mayo is another company out there that's on the uh, on the better, uh, cleaner side, uh, a company called Just Mayo. Um, but again, it's, you know, it's still a lot more than Hellman's. Um, Here's another label, uh, soybean water, a high fructose corn syrup again. Uh, this is probably the same label I read off in the beginning, uh, Ken's Foods. Uh, so yeah, so that's what's in mayonnaise. Now let's see what's up with uh, EDTA. Uh, I'm going to livestrong.com. Livestrong.com is a great website for lots of really, um, uh, that website has built, and I'm assuming that's Lance Armstrong, Livestrong. That website has built a huge database of lots of nutritional information. I use it as a resource a lot. So they're saying, uh, let's see what they're saying about EDTA. Uh, let's see, let me get to the top of the article here. Uh, is a chemical salt used to separate heavy metals from dyes and other substances. One form uh, known as calcium disodium EDA appears in foods and cosmetic products to prevent air from spoiling them and introducing unwanted oxygen into the product's molecular structure. Okay. 
Um, basically, uh, this is known as a toxin. They're saying in large amounts it's a toxin. Uh, and uh, they're just saying it's not, uh, you know, it's something that just be careful uh, consuming it. And uh, it's used for several other things as well. Um, it's used in medicine. It's actually used in chelation in the body to get the body uh, chelated from heavy metals. Uh, but, you know, the bottom line is it is a toxin. Uh, it's not something that, you know, you can just basically, it's not something you can go in the store yourself and just buy and say, I'm going to make mayonnaise at home and just add this to your mayo mix, okay? A lot of the foods that you find in these convenience products, um, the labels might be fancy, they might say GMO free, they might say this, they might say that, but the bottom line is, if you wanted to make this stuff, you would never use the ingredients that they're using at a commercial level. You could never even find these ingredients in a store to even make this kind of stuff. And mayonnaise is a simple thing to make, so if you are doing mayonnaise at home, um, it is simple to make. Uh, keep in mind, it does have raw eggs in it, so it is a, uh, it's a perishable item. However, you can go to the store, a Whole Foods type store, a health food store, and buy much, much higher quality mayonnaise. You can buy veganaise, you can buy vegan mayonnaise, you can buy uh, stuff made organic with organic ingredients. Uh, but again, you know, cost is always a factor. So um, look, if you look at those cheap prices of those bulk mayos that restaurants are, 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 are using, it's shocking compared to what we're paying. Next time you go to a restaurant, if you are concerned about that, just ask them what they put mayo in, because you will be surprised. A lot of things. I mean, even if, even sometimes, to, even you know, sometimes, even to make dressings creamy, like a ranch dressing or creamy Italian dressing, or a Russian dressing, crab cakes, tartar sauce. And the list will go on with with what chefs will use mayonnaise for. So if you are concerned about what you eat, and you. Uh, and you do go out to restaurants, just ask ask away and see what they say. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please hit like, subscribe, and leave a comment.